Investing is about having your money generate more money. And the reason that you wanna do that, particularly while you're working and have an income, is because there's gonna be a point in your life where you don't actually have an income. And you wanna have an investment or build up an investment pool that you can then use to supplement your income. So that's kind of the basis of how retirement works. Whilst you have income, you put it aside, you make your money, get more money, and then when you retire and don't have an income, you go to your investments and then that supplements your income. So the way that investing works is that you have three general asset types. So the first one is something as simple as cash. So cash is about putting money into a bank account or into a term deposit and getting a lower interest rate, maybe one to 2% at the moment. So cash has generally got the less risk, but it's also got the least amount of return. The next one is having a look at property. So this might be residential property, uh, might be looking at buying your home or an investment property, and it also might be about a property fund. So that's where a whole lot of investors pull their money together and buy some of their bigger properties. One of the advantages of property is that the value of the actual property goes up itself, uh, called capital gains, but you also get rental income. If you've got an investment property and you've got tenants in there, then you're gonna get that rental income as well. So property is a medium return and it's a medium risk as well because the property market can go up and down uh, in short notice or a short period of time. The third category is buying shares or buying stocks. Those mean the same things. And the way that works is you're buying a little bit of ownership in a company. And a bit like property, shares can go up in value, it can go up and have a capital gains, and some pay what's called a dividend. And a dividend is a company paying out their earnings to shareholders, sort of as a reward for owning that particular stock. Investing in stocks, can have the biggest returns, but it can also have the biggest risk. Uh, if you've had a look recently, we've seen the market go down by 10 or 11% immediately. And whilst you're young, that's not much of an issue because generally the stock market will go up over a long period of time. But if you're right on that borderline retirement and your retirement fund's gone down by 10 or 11%, that's where it can become a bit more of a concern. So they're the three main options that you have in terms of investing. Now. You may have a mix of those investments. You don't have to be all in just one investment. And that mix depends on your age and depends on your risk profile. So if you're young, you might wanna put more money into stocks and shares because you have a lot longer for that to accumulate over a period of time. And if we do go through a difficult time with those, you have a lot longer for it to recover. However, if you're getting closer to retirement, you may wanna have more of your money in cash and a little bit in property because if something bad does happen, you don't wanna lose 20, 30% of your investing money or your retirement account because you don't have as long for that to recover. So that's what's called an investing mix. So you might have um, you know, just 10% in cash, you might have 50% in property, and then you might have 40% in shares, and that's your investment risk. And the way that works is it generates a return over a period of time. So the reason that investing is really, really important is because it helps your money go out and make more money. Because whilst you're working, whilst you have that income, uh, you're able to generate uh, money and pay for your different expenses, but there's gonna come a time where you're no longer able to work, and that's when you draw in your investing pool or your assets, and then you utilize that to cover your expenses when you're no longer working. <music>